What's up guys, I'm DJ Cobb 97 Welcome to episode 3 in my hardcore world. There was one clear goal for this episode, to find an ancient city. I would have to be very careful because these structures are very risky. Wait, is he smelling me? Oh no, did I just spawn another warden? I might die! I've had my sights set on one particular enchantment for a while now. One that was added to the game very recently that I've never had before, and one that might save me a lot of time in this world. I'm talking about Swift Sneak. More specifically, Swift Sneak 3. It can't be obtained from an enchanting table or trading with villagers. The only way to get this enchantment is to find it in a loot chest in an ancient city. I was determined to acquire this enchantment at all costs. One thing I would need is a lot of night vision potions. The main ingredient in these potions are golden carrots, which I would need a lot of gold nuggets in order to make. The first thing I did was head to the nether to mine some gold. While I was there, I decided I might as well mine for ancient debris at the same time. Then I could upgrade my gear to netherite, making me even more prepared for exploring caves in search of an ancient city. I do need some gold, but I figured I might as well also be getting netherite at the same time. Ooh, that one shot. So let's, yeah, let's get a staircase going down to Y15. 15, here we go. Okay, so here's the border. Ha! Ah, already found my first debris. Take me out. Wow, I'm already full. Jesus. Finally, man. <gasps> there we go. Nice. Nice. Nice, dude. I think it is about time to call it quits for this particular leg of the journey because our pickaxes are on life support here. Nice, dude. Nice, bruh. Oh, cool. <gasps> nice, dude. <gasps> oh my god, no way. What luck. What luck. I just need to find one more ancient debris and then I'm gone. I'm heading to the ancient city. <gasps> Thank you, game. It heard my prayer for ancient debris. Check me out. There's some skulk. So. Well, unlucky. It seems like this one does not have a city. Ah, here we are. Yeah, what's the Y level that ancient cities spawn at? I guess I just try to find my way up out of here. I'm having a hard time finding a city here. I guess I need to just leave this cave and give up on it, because there's clearly not an ancient city right here. Well, if there's an ancient city here, I can't find it. On to the next one, I guess. 
light outside air. Well, that was disappointing. Let's check down in here. Some skulk. Dude, why am I having the shittiest fucking luck, man? Well, let's get the fuck out of here then. Yeah, if anyone can think of a way that I could waste even more rockets and even more potions, let me know. Because I obviously haven't wasted enough fucking time and resources yet. Gotta get down lower, going down in this way. Okay, there's some skulk. So we're in a deep dark. We got us a shrieker. Go ahead and keep that pinky firmly planted. So finding a deep dark is not very challenging. It's finding a f***ing city. And uh, it looks like unfortunately there's not going to be a city in this one. All the risk of an ancient city without any of the reward. Are you kidding me that I'm once again in a massive deep dark? But no city. You gotta be kidding me, dude. And if I literally waste... Like, dude, it's been like over 10 days that I've... In, in game days that I've been looking for a f***ing ancient city, bro. Well, there's no way there's an ancient city because this is the level they'd be at. F*** this game, dude. Well, alright. I don't even have enough rockets to, like, do this anymore. Yep, yeah, just nothing. Just nothing. Just little tiny pockets of the biome. Oh, you know what? It's day 99 and the sun is rising. It's gonna be day 100. Let's watch the sun rise. Hey, 100 days! I have survived 100 days in hardcore again. Uh, this is my thing here, celebratory wasting of fireworks. I do this every time that I hit 100 days mark. You know, I got a lot done in this first 100 days. I killed the dragon by day 30 and got, did a raid, got some totems, got all my enchantments, got a, a little villager breeder and trading hall going, built the mob farm, the enderman farm. I think I'm at a pretty good pace. Other than the fact that I spent the last six hours of stream looking for an ancient city that I can't find. Other than that, I think I've made good time. But I wasn't nearly this far in my first hardcore world by day 100. Rest in peace to my first hardcore world. Uh, these ruined portals are almost not even worth checking. But I'll check just in case. Because I think that there's a chance they can have enchanted... Ooh, a tri... <gasps> well, this guy's going to mess me up. Give me a trident, dude. My first enchanted golden apple. <laughs> and it was right when I was saying that, too. That's hilarious. Are you a trident drowned? No, you're worthless. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, my God. All right, DJ. Now, let's find a good way to get down in. Oh my god, I don't even know where to start. It's too big. Okay, there is a shrieker. But that guy looks like the only shrieker for a mile around. I might go break it. I might set him off, but... Not even a shrieker around here. Swift Sneak 3! There is a shrieker here. Oh, let's chance it. <laughs> really? Ah, sh it's gonna spawn a warden when I close the chest. So that's cool. Ooh, I want this hoe. Shit. Huh. 
potion is going to wear off. Alright, so if this sets off a shrieker, I need to fly over this way. Oh, I can see my torch over there. Is he? Oh, sh there he is. <laughs> the warden is pretty easy to evade. It's probably worth getting the enchantment before I loot the rest of this. So I might actually just go up to Y15 and mine for iron. God, what the dude dude I will never be able to go back again I will never be able to go back again go oh, gotta sneak and be quiet oh look how f***ing fast I'm damn sneaking bro look at this look hell yeah Where is he? Don't oh, smell me. Oh, I see him. Wait, is he smelling me? No, did I just spawn another warden? I might die. <sighs> My heart's actually pounding pretty hard. Alright, I might have to continue this excursion tomorrow. I think both wardens went away. Probably find a safe way to get back up. It's not gonna spawn another one of these guys. This is getting pretty scary. All right. I just spawned a warden, G. I just spawned in and spawned a warden right away. That's kind of ass. Oh, he's right down here. What the hell? How did I even trigger a shrieker just on spawning in? The warden's a creepy motherfucker, dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm moving pretty quickly with the swift sneak. It is pretty legit. Another swift sneak. Unbreaking mending and efficiency? Damn, yeah, you find some good hose here. Ah, sh**. Yep, that's a warden spawn. That's a warden. Let's just get the f*** out. Sh**. 
Where is he? Don't smell me, dude. Don't worry, guys. He's no match for my swift sneak. No match. Where even is the guy? I want to go up where I can see Oh, there he is. It is sketchy. I mean, it's not like... It's definitely unsettling. But look, it's been 60 seconds. He just goes away. Isn't that weird? Sounds very close. Oh, shit. Okay, Swift Sneak 1. Nah. Here's a disc I don't have. Uh, Curse of. Oh, dude! There's so much open space to just sneak away. I don't even have to. At first, I was flying away, and I was thinking, like, okay, I might die flying away from the warden because I'm going to smack into a wall and pop a totem and then fall and die. But uh, I haven't even been doing that anymore. Now when the warden spawns, I literally just sneak away. And, uh, I mean, just look how fast I'm sneaking, dude. Look, look, look. I just don't think the warden is really a threat. I kind of want to see the, the warden more up close. Uh, but I probably shouldn't get too close. You smelling me, buddy? Oh, yep, he can smell me. That's cool. Well, there you go, guys. I was able to accomplish my goal. With Swift Sneak 3 on my pants, things like building farms will go a lot quicker. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.